Hi folks, this is Jay, hope you're okay today. Um, an atheist has requested that I make a video, um, so I'm just making a quick video for them. Um, they mentioned that uh, I hadn't used my intro, outro, and that they were going to go on hunger strike. And uh, they said they, they missed uh, breakfast this morning, <laughs> the Weetabix. Um, so I, I better be making a video quick. So I thought I'd make a video for them. They're just having a bit of fun, and I um, uh, hope, hope that person's okay, and hope you have a good day today. So this is for you, um, for the one who's missed their breakfast, if they have or haven't. Uh, it's just a little video uh, for you. Um, a little thought. I've been reading this book. I've been reading this book. Um, quite a way through it and it's by Jeffrey Berg and he mentions um, in the book that what he wants to do is give positive arguments that God does not exist okay uh, so he's, he's bringing up arguments to prove that God doesn't exist so he's not taking the usual atheist line where he just sits back and lets the theist present evidence and then you critique the theist's evidence He's actually coming forward and he's presenting strong arguments. Well, he thinks are strong arguments. I don't think the strong arguments uh, that he thinks are not down arguments to say that God does not exist. But in the book, he makes this point, um, and this is what I just want you to discuss as atheists and Christians and whoever. He makes this point. He says, I'm not going to use any psychological arguments against uh, the existence of God. He said, because even if the psychological arguments were true it doesn't mean to say that there is no God so he, he's thinking in terms of Nietzsche's argument that you know Christianity is a sign of weakness um, um, Karl Marx's ideas that Christianity is um, an opium of the masses um, Freud's idea that you know it's it's a projection of seeking a father because you haven't had uh, a father or whatever so those are some like arguments that atheists have used in the past to critique Christianity and this atheist is saying I'm not going to use them because even if they were true um, it wouldn't invalidate the existence of God either way so the question I want to ask the atheist and the Christian is what value are psychological arguments against Christianity and for Christianity is there any value for example if the atheist comes along and says that Christianity is a psychological crutch could not the theist turn around or the Christian turn around and say to the atheist your atheism is a psychological crutch so again what value are psychological arguments in the critique of a person's religious beliefs or skeptical beliefs. I'll leave that with you. Alright, thank you for listening and take care.